Kayla's Adventures. Kayla and her father went to the terrace, but Kayla's head wouldn't stop buzzing with thoughts. What if the little kitten's mommy wouldn't come back? Maybe the little kitten is hungry. Should we feed it? What should we feed it? Are we going to keep it? So many questions, only time can answer. The time passed by, some birds singing here and there, but no cat to be found anywhere. Daddy, I don't see the cat mom anywhere. Hmm, that's normal. A mother cat can leave her kitten for hours at a time. Just take call. She might not return if you are standing over her kitten like that. Okay, but daddy, don't you think it's a bit strange? I thought cats had many kittens, but we found only this one. No, this is completely normal. Some cats may also give birth to one kitten. Or maybe the other ones went with their mom and this one was left behind. Let's just wait and see. Kayla sat calmly and her father started reading the newspaper. Some moments later, Kayla felt a soft move on the grass. She looked to the bush and saw the surprise. Daddy, Daddy, look! Put the newspaper slowly down. I think the cat mom came back. Kayla's father looked up from the newspaper. There you go. I told you. It looks like the cat mom was on a hunting trip and just came back. Kayla watched as the cat started grooming and licking her small kitten and then moving it back into the bush. Good that its mother came back. The mother cat offers her kittens the best chance for survival. Yeah, whatever. Kayla, are you sad? I am not sad. It's just... It's just that I wanted to have a pet and then I found this cute little kitten here and then I know it sounds selfish but I really really wished you would keep it and I thought that I would give it much better care than its mom but when I saw how soft and loving the mother cat was licking its kitten and imagined how sad the kitten would have been if I had taken it from its mom and how sad the cat mom would have been I felt really bad for thinking like this and being selfish in the first place. You know, Kayla, being selfish, as bad as it sounds, but we all have this instinct in us. Since with it, we are able to treasure and protect ourselves from harm. But just as you discovered now, if we unleash this trait to control our lives and our relationships with everything around us, be it humans, animals, or even plants and trees. It makes a beautiful, lovely soul become ugly. Therefore, always, always love for others that you love for yourself. Any ideas how you would care for the new member of the family? New members of the family? Are we going to keep them? Really? Really? Yes, why not? They can survive on their own, of course. But why not give a helping hand to this cat mom? Or did you change your mind already? No, of course not. I'm not dreaming, right? This is the best day of my life. Let's make them a beautiful home. And let's get them some food, some milk, and some yogurt, and... All right, all right. <laughs> Kayla was overjoyed. She became like a bouncing ball that bounced happily everywhere while saying ideas all over the place. The little bees were dancing, the trees were laughing, and the sun was smiling. Kayla felt in love with the whole world. And she ran to her mother. Mom, guess what we found in the garden? They have just one, but with eight to spare. They are usually friendly, but sometimes act like they don't care. What did I find? Hmm, is it a cat? Correct! Mom, you're so awesome! But it's not just one, there are two. A mommy cat and a baby cat. I wanted to show them to you the whole time. But you had your headphones on, so you probably didn't hear me. Come, I want to show them to you. 
Ayla took her mom's hand, went to the garden, and pointed at the small bush where the cat and her kitten were hiding. There! They are sitting under this bush, over there! Both of them are definitely hungry. Let's prepare something for them to eat. Mom, can we keep them? Dad said we could keep them. But before that, we have to bring them to the vet first and check that both of them are healthy. Where is your dad, by the way? He went to the basement to cut some wood. We are going to build a cat's house, you know. Do you want to join us? What a great idea to build a house for them. Let's make them some food bowls too. Let's go then! Kayla's dad was an amateur carpenter. He makes lots of stuff and many designs in his room in the basement. Daddy? Daddy? Over here. I just finished cutting the wood for the house. I will make the design. All right, big girl. We wanted to make some food bowls for the cats too. Great idea. Now, everyone into your positions. Here we go.